Hey my people, so for my dream house build, the outside of the house is just as important as the inside. And so I've always wanted to redo my backyard. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my backyard reno before and after and where I am today. So this is the view of my backyard before I started to make any changes. I had quite a bit of space to the back. I didn't have my fence up just yet. I had some flowers, a little lime tree there. And um, I always wanted to have a nice backyard space where I can come outside and chill with family and just hang out if I'm having an event, you know, just to use up that space. So those are, that's my guava tree there, another plant I have there. So I enjoy gardening. So I'd started a little bit of gardening, but not too much because I know there was going to be a major reno to the back of the yard. So as a part of the reno, I knew I was gonna put up my wall because I wanted to have that privacy. So what you're seeing there is the foundation being dug for both the wall and for a gazebo, right? This is a structure going up for my gazebo bill because I also wanted a space that I could sit and just relax and just enjoy my time on the outside. So the wall here is going up and um, I put up fencing around the entire lot, which really gives me a great sense of privacy. Um, I feel as if when I'm outside, I'm still not very exposed to my neighbors. So this is the gazebo blocked up and the beams are boarded up. The intention here is to do a slab roof so that a second relaxation area could be created on the top for my Airbnb guests. So plants are definitely a major part of this backyard reno. So what I would have done was to corner off the original parts of the garden that I had to ensure I separate that. I bought some additional flowers. Actually I had to move two flowers, two plants um, that one made it ultimately and one did not make it, you know. But that's a part of the game. I also created a little garden area surrounding the gazebo because I felt that it would just be nice to look out and see that. So there's a garden in front and then there's a garden, of course, surrounding the gazebo area. So this is the view of the gazebo. As you can see, the vegetation is up and running. So this is months after um guys i mean these videos again they take months to put the content together so i'm showing you the development now after eight months where the plants have truly grown so you can see my little palm tree bordering the gazebo and one of the things is that this is the path that my airbnb guests they're gonna walk they're gonna take this path to get up to the upstairs area for their stay so i wanted it to be something you know engaging and relaxing because not because i'm not in the country i'm not in rural jamaica doesn't mean i cannot create you know a nice natural scene um that persons can enjoy i certainly enjoy it i mean i have lots of trees i have guava tree i have aki you know, it's not a big space, but it's big enough to accommodate um, my different plants. I have soursop, cherry, um, aloe vera, you know, there are a number of things there that I'm hoping when they fully grow to fruition, um, even my guests will enjoy some of it. So that's the reno. And I mean, there's still some work to be done. Um, some of these edging around the plants needs to be repainted. When it comes to the actual walkway, um, that needs to be paved with an epoxy. So there will definitely be a follow-up video showing you the progress on the backyard reno. So one of the most interesting things about this reno is that I actually got married in my backyard. That's my reception was kept here in under the gazebo. This is where I had my layout. This is a short clip 
that I took in the very, very late night of the setup that we had um, from the night before. And um, it was wonderful. It was great. Um, the space was enough. I had about 30 persons in total. Some persons were under the gazebo. Some persons were seated on the outside. Um, but it was just a wonderful, wonderful experience. So that was also a big win with having a backyard space. Here are some bonus picks for those of you who stuck around, getting married in my backyard under the gazebo. It was wonderful and the space to the back was perfect. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks all the love and the support. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And remember to subscribe.